Here, I got the door. Yeah, no problem. Oh, hi. I didn't realize it was you. When did you start wearing your hair like that? It looks amazing. I really love it. How beautiful can one woman be? You've always had my vote for best hair in the building. Yes, you do. Hands down. You're welcome. So how has your week been so far? Super busy? Oh, yeah, you did get that new group account. I'm sure that's been a handful. That was weird. Every once in a while, this elevator just doesn't seem very healthy. I hate using this one to begin with just because the AC is busted. 30 seconds and this puppy is almost enough to break a sweat. One of these days I'm gonna just wear a towel and bring a small stool in here and sit for like an hour. It's some sort of like sauna spa treatment. <laughs> will you join me? Strength in numbers, huh? What? HR will love it. Especially Jennifer. I've been told by several people that she has a crush on me. So it would be pretty hilarious to see her face while she tells me I'm not allowed to walk around the office and just towel. <laughs> Yeah, she seems like a nice girl and everything. But if I was going to date someone in this office, there's someone else that I would choose. Who? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Are you blushing a little? I can be bribed, you know. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who it would be if you... What the heck? Oh, no. Well, this has never happened before. It's five o'clock on a Friday, and we were almost to the ground floor. Our freedom was right at our fingertips, and now the elevator wants to play games. One of us has really bad karma. I don't think it's me. I mean, I don't remember betraying anyone today, at least. <laughs> what about you? Are you as sweet and friendly as you seem to be? Or are you secretly something else? I believe you. Okay, well, hopefully it will reset itself and come back on. But in the meantime, maybe we can check the buttons and see if there's some sort of, I don't know, emergency button? You see that kind of crap in movies all the time. What does this guy do? Does this look like something I can pull out? Let me get my knife out. Maybe I can pry it open. I always carry a knife. I use it all the time. I don't know. For lots of stuff. Opening packages. Slicing apples at lunch. Defense against the dark arts. And fixing elevators. Oh, crap. Yeah, that was definitely not supposed to break off like that. I guess it's better at breaking things than fixing them, huh? My bad. All right, time for plan C. Get your cell phone out. You don't have any reception in here? Dang it, neither do I. Are we in like a metal magnetic box or something? What the heck? This is a pretty old elevator. I guess we have to just get comfortable and wait it out. Can I be honest? If I had to get stuck in here with anyone, I'm glad it's with you. Well, you're just so much fun and so easy to talk to. What about my girlfriend? Nah, I don't have a girlfriend right now. We stopped dating about three or four months ago. I'm surprised you remember her. She was okay. She didn't like to hang out with any of my friends, though. Or my family, for that matter. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a great fit. I'm looking for someone who's much more friendly towards people. And what about you? Do you have a boyfriend? 
maybe one who knows a thing or two about elevators. <laughs> no boyfriend? Interesting. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's just interesting. I just always assumed... You know, my ex-girlfriend was pretty jealous of you. Yeah. She always would make comments that she saw you checking me out or whatever. I told her she was imagining things. But she always seemed to feel threatened that we were co-workers. One time I told her that there was no way that a girl as pretty as you was checking me out. But that was obviously the wrong thing to say. She got super angry that I called you. Well, never mind. I'll stop talking now. I shouldn't talk about her anyways. It's in the past. I should focus on getting us out of here. Or at least getting more comfortable and sitting down. Hmm. It's starting to get pretty hot in here. I'm sorry to do this, but would you mind if I unbuttoned my shirt a little bit? You don't mind? Thank you. Oh, that helps a little bit, but not as much as I'd hoped. I, um, hope this doesn't come out the wrong way. But if you wanted to do the same, I promise not to look. You've got to be as uncomfortable in this heat as I am. It's kind of dark in here anyways, with just that emergency light on. But obviously I'm sure you don't want to. Oh, you do? Yeah, okay. I'll be on best behavior. I'll just look straight ahead. Get it together, man. Don't be weird. Think of something to say that has nothing to do with her chest. So do you normally wear lacy bras like that to work, or is it just a Friday thing? What have you done? You know what? I'm so sorry. Don't answer that. That's none of my business. That question just popped out before I could catch it. I know I told you I wouldn't look, but I'll be honest, all the walls are actually pretty reflective. I didn't realize that until you started to... Whoever the janitor is does a great job cleaning and making it spotless. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, I'm sure my face is pretty red right now. Thank you for not being angry that I was checking you out. You're flattered? Really? You were checking me out too? Well, in that case, I think it might be best if we sat closer to each other. My heart is beating pretty fast right now. Is yours? You can probably feel it. Put your hand right here. It started beating even faster when you put your hand on my chest. Yeah, well, as soon as I became single, I started working out again. You know, just in case I ever got stuck in an elevator with someone I liked. Yeah, my arms too. You can touch them if you want. But if you do that, I might have to... Wow. That was every bit as good as I imagined it would be. Of course, you can ask me anything. Who is it that I mentioned earlier that I have my hopes on? Obviously, it's you. I've had a crush on you since the day we met. It's everything about you. It's your hair. It's your friendly smile. It's your kindness towards others. It's the way you look in a pair of jeans. Or a dress. Or an unbuttoned blouse. Okay, now my turn for a question. Are you free tomorrow? I want to take you out on a date. That is, if we ever get out of here. <laughs> awesome. I should have asked you a long time ago. Hey, listen. I hear a maintenance guy. Just as a heads up, your shirt is still open. <laughs> 
We might want to button back up before this door opens. It sounds like they're close. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I'll text you tonight with the time and place. Can I walk you to your car? I think I might need just one more kiss.